Hey everybody, welcome back to Trinity Dairy. Don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and check out the link in the description for our merch store. Um, it is October, what is today? 20, 23rd today. Beautiful out. Um, the weather has gotten colder. Uh, we've been having some pretty hard frosts down in the low 20 degrees, 23, 24 degrees in the morning. So some good killing frosts, but still nice during the day. Um, so we got a few different projects going on today. I haven't really done anything with the corn picking yet. We've been um, working on getting our, we got a different outdoor wood boiler. So I got that hooked up yesterday. So I've spent a few days on that, getting that ready. I had to go get it and get it hooked up. Um, but today what we're doing, kind of getting some corn stuff ready, working on that patch. I still want to plant that winter rye might be getting kind of late but i've had people tell me that it's never too late for rye so we're gonna we're gonna plant it anyway um so let's see i uh, had the boys justin jordan and i think josh was helping they were getting the old a little bit of old corn up in the corn crib cleaned out they just about got that done um i went and got the 1066 home i unhooked that big field cultivator and then i put the I got the old spring tooth with a spike tooth behind. I just got that on there. I'm just gonna go down and run over that ground just to kind of finish it off to seed it. I'm hoping to seed it today, but we'll see how things go. Um, and then Paul's got the, getting the elevator ready to go there, just getting that oiled up and greased up and stuff. So I've never used this elevator since I, I bought it and haven't had a need for it, but so it'll be nice to see how that works as well. Um, so yeah, the crib is almost ready. The elevator is almost ready. I haven't done anything with the picker yet, but we can get that pulled up and that should be pretty much ready other than getting it oiled up and stuff. So I'm going to run down with this and get that field finished off. What I can get into anyway, the wet spots, I'm just going to seed around. And then my dad, he's cutting the rest of the hay at his place uh, yesterday and I think we're going to finish today. It's supposed to be nice Till next Wednesday so we're hoping Tuesday to get that bailed we're hoping for small squares uh, if that doesn't work out we'll just roll it up and wrap it and I think Wednesday Thursday next week they're talking some rain and then it looked like Friday I believe was kind of nice again so I'm hoping we can squeeze out another nice stretch um, I got about 16 acres of hay here I like to make yet and then um, also I'm hoping next week, maybe Monday, to get that corn picked. So um, it's definitely in the works. We're just trying to take advantage of the nice weather to get stuff done. So um, anyway, I'm going to head down and get that field smoothed off. up everything I can get into um, it was a little bit sticky I was having some trouble with that rear spike tooth kind of clogging up on me a little bit in the center there but once I got up into this rocky part I didn't have any trouble but it uh, worked up pretty decent I'm gonna probably have the kids come down I don't know maybe we'll bring hay rack or something down here and this end up here is really rocky We'll go through and pick through that just up in this corner 
but the low spot or the other side down there i don't think there's maybe one or two rocks so and that middle piece there where it's wet i'm just going to leave that and we'll deal with that next year and get some seed in the ground so um I'll bring this home i'll probably i'll see what's going on there maybe run up and get some seed so i've got that and then i can start seeding down on the far end and they can start picking some of these rocks up here and uh, see if we can get it done